So we are detectives in this department. So you can imagine the eye is the size of a 25 cents. Nine subspecialties work in that 25 cents and they all have to look at the eye as a puzzle and figure out where each one of the pieces have to fit. Our role in telemedicine is to be able to assert what is the eye condition to send the patient to to get the best possible results and the best possible outcome. Pre-COVID, very few places did uh, telemedicine. After COVID, everyone jumped on board, but we have been doing telemedicine and ophthalmology for almost two decades, where we would take the specialized equipment into the field, into soup kitchens, for example, or mosques or church, and uh, we would uh, see patients and determine how urgently they needed to be seen at the IOVS and arrange for their referral uh, to the institute here and to be taken care of. So at Rutgers, uh, we've pioneered many aspects of telemedicine and ophthalmology, uh, and all of this happens in one place. It's, it's an exciting place to be in uh, here, Rutgers, New Jersey Medical School, where we do resident education, medical student education. We have a lot of research that is ongoing. Our telemedicine program takes all of that sophisticated medicine into the community, and and it's just not one way, it's both ways. We identify patients that need help, refer them back to the institute here where we take care of them in a collaborative effort as a multi-specialty group. So whether they need a glaucoma doctor, cataract surgery, a retina doctor, a cornea doctor, we have all of that at the same, under the same roof in the same place, which I think is excellent. So the most exciting part of the work we do in telemedicine is to catch the disease in the early stages, not in the late stages, but in the very early stages. So we can change lifestyle, uh, things you do on a routine basis, so we can make the eye problem less severe in the long run. At Rutgers, we have incorporated artificial intelligence into our teleophthalmology program you know, quite a few years ago. And uh, the way artificial intelligence helps us is by um, helping diagnose certain conditions that can be blinding in a very effective way, very fast. So this way we could triage patients and know which ones need to be referred back to the IOVS urgently and which ones can have later appointments. I'm excited to get up every morning and know that we're going to go out to the community, take our medical students, create new doctors that will come out in five, six, seven years. We're going to bring new technologies that will advance the patient's outcome and be able to catch disease early. Not just eyes, but maybe cardiovascular disease, their eye pressure, their, their blood pressure. Everything we do, the medical student absorb and grow with that. It's the seeds we plant in our community and that's what Rutgers does.